Starfish and Fire back for another hot sauce review. This is a small batch company out of Orange County, California called Slow Burn. Got two sauces here today to review. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into these. I'm excited about these because these are fermented sauces, much like Tabasco. And I am biased towards Tabasco because, well, not only did one of my family members move, uh, marry into the uh, Tabasco family in the late 1800s, but uh, I've always loved it. I mean, I, I, I've used to put that on everything, and now I've got quite a selection to work with. But these are fermented sauces, so we're going to go ahead and test these today. And we're going to get right into it. Got my spoon. Now these sauces, unlike most sauces that you see, don't have the black label there. They have a, a, a clear plastic wrap that you can see on here. So we're going to go ahead and take this one off here. This one here is called Instant Karma. Slow burn. Instant Karma. Handcrafted. Look at that. So, the ingredients on this one are going to be a little harder to read, so I wrote them down. Uh, this would require readers. Uh, so, what we have here on this one is serrano peppers, water, lemon juice, sesame oil, distilled vinegar, kosher salt, mustard seed, fenugreek, Turmeric, azafotiepa, which is basically a dried oleo resin, okay, and xanthan gum as a thickener. So those last two ingredients are the last three there. Now turmeric is uh, turmeric is used often in hot sauce, but the uh, fenugreek and the azafotiepa, tipa. I'm sure I'm getting that wrong, but uh, yeah, that's a dried oleo resin. It's an interesting ingredient. Um, there's supposed to be some health benefits to this. I, I haven't looked into the science on that, but we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Now, if you see here the color on this, you can see stuff floating in there. Right? So, I mean, this looks like a, it's just the color alone is really wonderful. Now, I do have a toothpick here. These, these sauces seem to be thicker. So we're going to see what's going on here. We're going to go ahead and pop this open. And we're going to give it a little stir. Loosen it up a little bit. All right. And we're going to give it another quick shake. Let's see what this... Wow. Okay, this has a very, almost seaweed type aroma to it. Yeah, I can, I can, the serrano peppers are coming through, but there's something else going on here. We're going to have to go with the taste to find out what's going on here. So here's the pour on it. Okay, so it's a medium to thick sauce. As you can see here, nice consistency. I like that. Yeah, what is that? The sesame oil? Well, we're going to find out. Starfish fire. And this is instant karma. Wow. Okay. So this has got a, a wonderful flavor. Very unique. And I think that's the fermentation that's given it that, that aroma. The taste is wonderful. Uh, it's got a... Again, like a seaweed type 
uh, flavor to it. Like if you've gotten the, the sushi that's been wrapped with the seaweed, that's the kind of flavor that I'm getting. And in fact, that would probably be what I'd pair it with. The heat is moderate. I'm going to say a one or a two at the most. For pepper heads, it's going to be maybe a two. For me, it's a one. Uh, this is a, a, a really good taste, though. I could probably just drink that straight up. The flavor is wonderful. I would use this, like I said, on sushi, uh, California rolls, slow burn, handcrafted, and it's a fermented hot sauce. Wow, it's chewy. That's the, the mouth feel. It's chewy. Flavor is wonderful. Wow. That's a good flavor. Uh, so we're going to move on to this next one here. This is called Siamese Dream. Now, Siam has been gone for a long time. You might remember the original Siamese twins that were made famous that came from Siam. Uh, what were their name? Chan and Ching? I don't remember. But uh, there, there's pictures of them. And I can tell by looking at this, the thickness of this sauce. I mean, look at that. And the color is wonderful. Safety first. All right. Look at that. Look at that. So what do we have going on here? This one, uh, it's actually larger writing. So we have water, distilled vinegar, coconut milk, chili pepper, ginger. So I don't tell what kind of pepper there. Um, kosher salt garlic, lemongrass, coconut sugar, cilantro, kefir lime, leaf, xanthan gum, cumin, and coriander. Interesting. Again, this has the, the plastic, uh, as a, uh, wrap. I'm going to use a different toothpick here and we'll see what's going on. There. Plastic there. So again, slow burn. Siamese dream. Let's see what's going on here. Garlic. Coming through big time. I think the coriander and the cumin is definitely coming through. This has got a very curry like aroma to it. Alright, so let's check a pour on this. Definitely a thicker sauce. Okay, so this is a bit thicker than the other sauce. And you can see that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about now. <laughs> hate to waste sauce, but... Alright, so this is Siamese Dream. Slow burn. Okay. So this is definitely a curry type, uh, style sauce. This would be good with uh, chicken, any kind of Indian food that you want to make. Th this would pair well with that. The heat is quite a bit hotter than the first one. I'm going to, wow, and that heat's just kicking in now. So I would put that heat, for me... Yeah, so it's getting my tongue with the top of my mouth. I'm going to put that r between a three and a four. I'd say three and a half. It's got a decent heat. I'm going to try a little bit more of this, actually. This, this, this makes me think of um, there's an Indian restaurant I go to. 
this is uh, definitely something you'd pair with Indian style food. And yes, I wash this table every time before reviews. Wow. And I can, the, the fermentation really adds to the, the quality of these sauces. Uh, this is something I could use. I'm going to have fun cooking with this. In fact, I might do some videos on some food. I've been doing a lot of uh, pairing of sauces with foods. I'm going to try to do more of that and maybe do some videos on that. It'll be interesting. Wow. Yeah, quite a bit more heat there. Siamese dream. Wow. Good stuff. Now, I do have somewhere here. Ah, one more slow burn sauce. I'll be doing that later. Harissa. This is another one of the slow burns. I'm not doing that this evening. I will do that in the future. But these two are ones that I will be getting again once I go through them. They are wonderful sauces and I recommend anyone that uh, is into hot sauces go on to the website order you some you can't go wrong with this fermented hot sauce small batch company <clears throat> that heat is still lingering so yeah I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna up that to a four because it's lingering you know, once I get to the five range, anything above a five is where it starts to get a little uncomfortable and I start to get the eyes and the tears and the snot, but none of that's happening. So I'm going to put it at three and a half, four, but four is because it's lingering. Get it. Slow burn. Small batch. Fermented sauce. Good stuff. I'm going to be doing some more reviews, so check it out. Starfish of Fire. Enjoy. Enjoy.